Hello, everybody, and happy Monday. It is time once again for another episode of Mark's Monday Minutes in Portland Real Estate. Today is January 16th, Monday, and I decided I'm going to do this broadcast today from my theater room in the house. Why? Because I kind of like those old movies, especially this one in particular. I'm not going to say that I'm a geek, but I happen to have some of my original figurines all carded up. Now, that said, I don't think you're going to pay that price anymore for these from years ago, but yeah. Now, why do I do this? Because just like the Star Wars franchise that has come back, and yes, Disney hasn't bought it and embraced it, the enthusiasm and energy has just skyrocketed. And it's just like what has happened with buyer activity in the last seven days. Oh my goodness, I thought we were expecting this the third week of January. No, it's happened the second week of January. We'll talk about that in a minute. The first three takeaways for today. Buyer activity faucet has turned on at full blast. Second of all, there's new listings coming on, but they aren't necessarily all new. And third, statistics are complex and local. So I'm here to help you. We'll talk about that as point number three. First of all, for the week, the number of active listings in the Portland metropolitan area, 2,904. Slightly down from yes, from last week at 2,959, but again, still under 3,000, still relative scarcity, just as we were experiencing for nine months out of 22. Slowed down a little bit at the end of the year, but it looks like it's turning right back, folks. The sellers are, are back in the driver's seat. Number of new listings this week, 375. Number of pending homes, 392. So for the last seven days, more homes have gone pending than were listed. The number of sold homes, which went under contract a month ago, 205. Not a big surprise. That would have been the end of November, beginning of December. So that's absolutely tracking where it should be. Now, the number of homes, the price adjustment, 588 of this 2904, giving us a right at 20%, 20.2% of homes in the last 45 days that have had a price adjustment of at least $99. The number of coming soon homes, homes that will be coming to market in the next 21 days that I can see and I can forward to you if you're interested, 16. I have two of those, so one out of eight are mine. Okay, well, that's because I've got two more coming to market. A third one as well, that one's a little bit outside the 21 days. Local supply, um, Again, we're looking at about two and a half months worth of inventory based on the number of sold homes, the amount of home. Again, buyers have absolutely turned their foot. They put their foot back on the gas, taken off, much like Luke Span Sand Speeder shooting across the deserts there. All right, I'll leave the analogy behind me. Number of four car garage homes this week. We're at 94 homes in the Portland area with a four car garage or larger, 24 of which have a are under $1 million, same numbers it was last week. Now, this is because 10 new homes have come to market, of which three were under $1 million. Now, there's a bit of a caveat in that. Of those 10 new listings coming to market, six of them are a relist. So they've already been on the market. So really, we've only seen four new homes come on the market with a four-car garage. In fact, that's, the again, the flavor. So many relists coming back on that look like a new listing, but in fact, they were previously listed all the way up into December. Maybe they've relisted at the same price, lower price, new pictures, new agent. Don't put a lot of faith in that. But more importantly, if you can find the home you want, let's talk about what the history is and the experience that's my role, is to give you that interpretation and perspective. The number of four-car garage homes that have not gone pending in the last week, three of them, with one of them being under a million dollars. Three have sold, with two being under a million dollars. And we've had 15 sell in the last 30 days, with 10 of them being under a million dollars. So it's interesting. We've we, Two-thirds of the homes sold in the last 30 days with a four-car garage have been under a million dollars. And yet... The percentage of new homes coming on, yeah, they're, they're, we, we've definitely seen some multi-million dollar homes come on. They're beautiful. Absolutely no way around it. Beautiful homes. We'll see how they do in the market. Now, again, I, I talked about the takeaways. First of all, buyer activity has absolutely turned on. Lockbox ac lock activity, when the, when the realtors trigger those electric boxes, it's up 51.9% in the week ending January 8th. It was a big strong tick at the end of that week that brought it up from 9,125 access points up to 13,860. 
I suspect when the numbers that ended yesterday will actually come out tomorrow on Tuesday, that we'll probably be closer to 17 or 18 thousand lockbox access points. So I, our back tire, I've seen it. I saw the number of showings that have occurred at my listings and other agents talking about, it. absolutely. Activity is just starting to skyrocket. Now, the number of new listings, as I said, is kind of a mix of new and old. Of the four car garage homes, there were 10 new homes, new listings that came to market. Six are relists. One is an affordable, under a million, and one is a manufactured home on acreage. So Again, just because it's new or you get an email saying it's new from one of the various search engines that you're using, not always the truth, but I can help you through that. Now, finally, the third point I talked about statistics. Statistics are important. I give you numbers every week and I can talk about rates, values, and we can compare those locally to national trends. I happen to use a particular source of data called Altos Reports. They're tremendously detailed. They sample across the entire country. They look at the top 20 metropolitan areas and then they break it down even further. I like their numbers. I use a little bit different perspective in some of the measurements because I measure them collectively as the Portland Metro whole, whereas they may be looking at the Portland city limits. So there's some slight variations sometimes. What's important to know is that if you're looking for data to support or refute a decision, I, as a retired statistician, because remember, I'm the one realtor you know who actually has a degree from a medical school from OHSU, class of 2000. I know the numbers. I can get in and dig into the statistics and give you data that will help you make a better decision. Now, that said, there may be times when data, throw it out the window because you're making an emotional decision when it's the one of one house that fits you. I get that but I will help you with the data, I'll help you understand it. More importantly, I want you to make a good, solid decision in any of your buying or selling choices based on a solid data foundation so you feel good. All right, I'll end you with Star Wars. Um, 1977, that was a really long time ago. I do remember it new because I was <clears throat> eight years old. All right, have a wonderful week. We'll see you next week.